How did Sam get on site at the Lincoln Memorial? Easy. Secret Service acting on orders from the President got him there. Why'd they do that? Oh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Galliard got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. I'm inside. What now? The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Then what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. Of what? Speech? I'm in the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high-end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. And here they come. Now. Lucius, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Oh. Do you now? I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I don't like the chances. You don't like Samson? I don't trust Samson. But... If you had a better tool, I'd be using it. Which is, incidentally, something you should keep in mind. My, my, are you actually threatening me? I thought we were both more civilized than that. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Can you tighten up the shot, Sam? Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with him, since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Like I was saying, it's interesting that you chose... Please. Why would you say that? 
and we will be making history. Make no mistake about that. I'd rather keep our part in things out of the history books thing. I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least cover. And cover's important, especially at a time like this. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. I hate leaving things to chance, or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, time, go. Okay, I'll freeze Galliard in place. No harm. Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides, and was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still no. He'd like to know if there's anything else that could be put on the table to get you to reconsider. Uh, a bribe. Mr. Galliard, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of my call. No, I don't think I am. Let me explain something, Miss Grimm's daughter. All I want from Tom Reed is for him to do his damn job. Why don't you tell him that for me? If you'll hold for one second, I'll put Director Reed on the line and you... You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. He's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed. Bigger than Third Echelon. They're just convenient. Then why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them, scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs, where do I find them? Say please. Ooh. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for? This is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the white... Ah! That's all Reed now. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I've got a visual. He's on the stage. He's just ducked into the VIP tent. All here for you, Fisher. Come on! Fence. Fence. We have an officer. 
Patrol at the Lincoln Memorial. All units are down. Use non lethal force when dealing with the police. No killing. President's orders. This guy's a cop killer! Dealing with the police. No killing. President's orders. This guy's a cop killer! idea why. I'll tap into their Como to find out. practice. 
There are multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off when they were able to shoot him. Then the gloves are off. I need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. No way! No signs of Fisher. Better hurry. Colonel Reed can't stall the cops forever. Check our position! I think he's over there! Contact! Oh. God damn it! Oh. Target is hiding. Fisher's a pro. Be smart. There's another batch coming at you, Sam. I do not have a visual on the contact. Quit the area. Locate the target and eliminate him. Go. Huh. Fisher did his thing here, gentlemen. Let's stop him. Be huh? Stand for not Secure. Other places have a lot of cover. Still no visual on the contact. Can anyone? Oh! Go, Sam. Your ride is here. Where? On the bridge behind the cafe. Go. Your ride's waiting on the bridge, Sam. Find the hostile and take him out. Move! No visual on Fisher. Better search him. Whoa! Get to the bridge now. Him. Your ride's waiting. Nothing yet. Anyone see the target? Get to the bridge now. Your ride's waiting. 